Hi, welcome to Airdrop Spot. In the past, we did a testnet guide on particle network testnet, and this video is more of a follow up on what is the latest on particle testnet. If you missed out on wave 1, you can definitely join wave 2 and start acquiring points from now before the testnet will come to an end. And do not forget it is an incentivized testnet and this project is actually backed by Binance. So what are we going to do? Tap on launch to get to the testnet website interface. If this is your first time joining this testnet, you have to first connect with your MetaMask wallet or OKEx wallet or Bybit wallet I think. And once you have connected with any of those wallets, a universal wallet will be generated for you. You are going to be needing the two wallets for different purposes later in your interaction. To complete any transaction on Particle Testnet, you need your Universal Gas called USDG. And how do you get your Universal Gas? You are going to task 2, you are going to tap on deposit. It takes you to another page where you are going to deposit Testnet Ethereum from any chain of your choice that is available on the deposit page and from your MetaMask wallet into your Universal Wallet on Particle Testnet. You can see the wallet addresses here. I currently have a balance of 0.03 Sepolia ETH on my EVM wallet and I'll be depositing some of that into USDG. So I'll enter the amount of Sepolia ETH that I want to send and once I enter that, it is going to reflect the amount of USDG that I am supposed to receive in my universal wallet. And if you want to send from a different chain, maybe you don't have Ethereum Sepolia, you can also tap on that drop down and then you are going to choose any network of your choice where you would like to send from. So instead of Ethereum Sepolia, I decided to send from Arbitrum Sepolia and you can see my balance, I have 0.5 ETH on Arbitrum. So I'll enter the amount of Arbitrum Sepolia ETH that I want to send. I want to send 0.2 and that is going to give me 636 USDG. If I want, I can reduce the amount of Arbitrum Sepolia ETH that I want to send and once I reduce it, I'm going to see a reduction in the amount of USDG that I am supposed to receive as well. You can see that I just reduced the quantity to 0.1. So in short, I am sending 0.1 Arbitrum Sepolia ETH from my MetaMask wallet and in my Particle Testnet Universal wallet, I'll receive 318 USDG. And that USDG is what I'm going to be using as gas fee on any task I am completing on the Particle Testnet. So my MetaMask wallet was currently not on Arbitrum Sepolia chain, so I had to switch my network to Arbitrum Sepolia and now I'll be signing the transaction in my MetaMask wallet. The deposit of USDG is successful and now I'm going to scroll to the top of my page and then go back to the home page. Particle Testnet primarily runs on Arbitrum Sepolia chain as your sender chain for any cross-chain transaction that you want to do. And in the later part of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get your Optimism Sepolia Testnet ETH. Following the co-testnet partners listed here on Twitter will earn you 1000 points for each follow. If you follow base on Twitter, you earn 1000 points. If you follow Linear on Twitter, you are going to earn 1000 points. So I did that previously. Now we are going to start with task 1 which is daily check-in. Every day that you come here and then you check in, you are going to earn 100 points for daily check-in. And if you can maintain a 7 days, 14 days, 21 days, 28 days uh, streak without breaking any of it, you are going to earn extra points. So I tapped on check-in and then I'm going to complete the transaction in my wallet. I'll follow the prompt, tap on confirm, complete the capture. And then authorize the transaction in my wallet. Daily check-in successful and I have earned 100 points for the day. We have already done task 2 when we deposited USDG. Now we are going to move on to task 3 which is to complete cross-chain transactions. You will see that my attempt is showing 1 out of 10 transactions for the day and that is the daily check-in that I just did in task 1. It also counts as cross-chain transaction as long as you have to complete transaction in your wallet it counts as cross-chain transaction. So I tapped on open wallet. I am going to tap on send. 
here in this drop down if you don't have it to transact with you can actually tap on it and then change to any other available token for example if you don't have uh, optimism sepolia it you can decide to just transact with your usdg alone and still use usdg for gas fee but i will be using optimism sepolia since i have it on my balance in that box i'm going to paste the address of the recipient i want to send to i have some saved already i'll just use one of them and in the next drop down this is where i want to choose the chain that i want to send to remember i said that particle testnet primarily runs on optimism sepolia so that is the sender chain now the core testnet chains are your receiver chain and the core testnet chains include base sepolia linear Seiko Hekla, Kakarot, Sepolia, and Zeku Testnet. So you want to choose any of these five as your receiver chain. So we are sending funds from Optimism, Sepolia, and then the receiver is going to receive it in any chain that you have chosen among those five chains. I have chosen Base Sepolia and I have entered the amount of funds I want to send. So I'll tap on next, I'll tap on send and then follow the prompt. Then I'll wait for the capture to be available. I'll check it, then complete the transaction in my wallet. Now once the transaction is successful, I'll go back and then I'm going to transact with another chain this time. I'll tap on send again. And you can see that the network already changed in the drop down. So if I want to go with Steko Hekla, I'll just leave it at that. If I want to choose a different network from among the core testnet networks, then I'll tap on the drop down and then I'm going to choose a different network. So I am choosing linear Sepolia this time. The same procedure, I'll enter the amount, then I'll follow the prompts to complete the transaction in my wallet. And once this transaction is successful, I have to go back, tap on send and then choose a different quotas net chain this time to transact with. You are expected to transact with all five quotas net chains. Now I'm not going to repeat everything in order to save our time. Once I am done with Zecute, I will go back, choose a different network that will be Teiko Hekla. Once I am done with Teiko Hekla, I will go back and then choose Kakarot. However, there is one problem with the current stage of this testnet and that is the fact that Kakarot testnet is currently unavailable and I will be explaining later in this video why this is a problem. So let's test it out. I'm going to choose Kakarot Sepolia chain this time and I'm going to try to transact with it. I'll enter the amount, tap on next to proceed with the transaction. And then you can see the error message at the top of my screen saying that the chain is currently unavailable. Well, there is nothing I can do about it. So remember that you are expected to complete 10 cross-chain transactions every day. So I'm quickly going to complete the 10 transactions and once I'm done, I'll return to the home page. I am back on the home page and that will bring us to task 4 where we are going to be purchasing NFT using universal liquidity. You have to purchase NFT 5 times every day. So here is task 4, I am going to tap on purchase NFT. For this task, just like the cross-chain tasks, you are expected to also interact with all 5 Cotestnet chains. So you can choose your chain by tapping on that drop down. When you interact with base Sebolia, later change it to linear, later change it to Teiko, Zekut and Kakarot until you are done with all chains. So we are going to start off with base Sebolia, I will tap on purchase. I will select USDG as my gas, then I will tap on next. I will complete the capture, tap on purchase and then complete this transaction in my wallet. Transaction successful. You just successfully purchased your first NFT. Now I'm going to tap on that drop down and then I'm going to go for a different network this time, Linear Sepolia. I'll tap on purchase. I'll choose USDG then tap on next. At this point I ran out of balance to use and this is how you get funds to use. Tap on how to get testnet tokens. And I'm going to tap on Optimism Sepolia for ease of use. 
or you can check for the direct link to Optimism Sepolia in the comment section. I'm going to leave it there. So it is going to take you to Alchemy Faucet. You have to log in to use this faucet. You are going to claim test tokens with your EVM address here and on the wallet address you want to use to claim, you are expected to have a balance of 0.001 Optimism Ethereum mainnet. That's about $3 worth of Optimism Ethereum. When you tap on send me it, the test funds will arrive in your wallet almost instantly. So let's open up our MetaMask wallet now. And here we are going to be sending some of that Optimism Sepolia it into our Universal Wallet. So I'll tap on send. I'll paste my Universal Wallet address, indicate the amount of Optimism Sepolia it that I want to send. Tap on next. Tap on confirm and wait for the transaction to be completed. Now I am back on Particle Network and I am going to continue with the Purchase NFT task. We have successfully purchased on Base Sepolia. This time I will be going for Linear Sepolia. I will tap on Purchase. I will choose USDG as my gas. Tap on Next. Complete the capture and then confirm the transaction in my wallet. Now, I just successfully purchased NFT on Linear Sepolia. I'll go back, go to the drop down, and then choose a different network to purchase my NFT this time. I'll be going for Hecla. So, without wasting much of our time, that is how I'm going to repeat this transaction on all chains. Once I am done purchasing on Taiko Hecla, I'll go back to the drop down, change my network, this time to Zecute. I'll tap on purchase NFT and once I am done purchasing NFT as well on Zekut, I'll go back and then choose Kakarot. Now just like when we were doing cross-chain transactions, like I said earlier, Kakarot Sepulia is currently unavailable but let's give it a try. I'm going to choose Kakarot Sepulia and you can see it says this chain is currently unavailable. Please switch to a different chain. Well, to make up my 5 transactions for this task, I'm going to repeat this interaction on a chain that I have done before. I'll be choosing base Sepolia. Once I have made purchase up to 5 times, I'll return to the home page and we are here now. Now, this is why I said earlier that Kakarot Sepolia chain not currently available is an issue. And you see Cotesnet NFT. Here is the instruction for you to be eligible to mint this NFT. You need to have purchased NFTs on different chains 50 times. In this video, we already purchased 5 times. And you need to have done this for about 10 uh, days. 5 times times 10 days makes up 50 times. Now, aside from purchasing NFT 50 times, you need to have purchased NFT at least one time on each quotas net with two chains. And now, one of the wave two chains, which is Kakarot Sepolia, is unavailable. Which means even if you have purchased NFT up to 50 times, you still won't be able to mint this quotas net NFT wave two. And that is because Kakarot Sepolia chain is not available. So you need to Keep constantly checking until you'll be able to transact on Kakarot Sepulia at least one time and then you'll be able to mint this NFT. But let's check it out. Let's tap on mint NFT and see if I'll be eligible to mint this. So this is where you are going to check if you are eligible to mint Cotesnet with two NFT. You can see it is currently unavailable for me. So I have to keep interacting and keep checking until I'll be able to interact on Kakarot Sepolia. And don't forget that you also have other NFTs that you can claim here. So check for the ones that you are eligible for and then claim it. So that is pretty much everything that you need to do in order to interact with Particle Testnet. Remember that this testnet is incentivized. Even if you have not joined before, you can actually join this one. So follow the guide I have done everything that you need to do in this video. And if you still have questions, do drop me a comment. Well, if this video has provided you with value, then do give me a like in this video and also subscribe to my channel for more content. Thanks for watching. I will see you in another tutorial.